Hi there, I'm Laura, the founder of Get Organized HQ, and let's talk about how you can declutter super fast. So you don't wanna spend all of your time decluttering and organizing, so how can we make it go faster, and not only faster, but just smoother and easier, so it's not an overwhelming and stressful process. So I think you're gonna be surprised how easy this method is. All right, so when you go to declutter, what you don't wanna do is just kind of like, you know, open the drawer that you're gonna declutter and just kind of like look in there and grab something out and just grab something else out and I don't know, what do I think about the things in here? And then this is what you really don't wanna do is you pull something out and then, tell me how many times you've done this because I know I have, then you go on a whole rabbit trail with it. You're like, do I really need this? Where should it go? I mean, maybe it should go in this other room, but maybe it should go here. Maybe I should, you know, just just all, like, like there's infinite options when you pick up an item. There really is. Like, there's so many places you can put it, so many things that you can do with it. So we need to limit your decisions. Because when I pick something up and I think that there's just 200 different options, then my brain thinks I have to sort through every single one of those. And that's gonna feel overwhelming and it's also going to take a long time to make a decision. So we're gonna need to simplify this. And this is how you do it. So the first thing that you're going to do, and you're going to do this every single time you go to declutter anything, because a system and a process is going to help you make less decisions. And it's really not the physical work of like decluttering, like, you know, picking up a piece of paper and being like, you know, that's not hard. Like it's not the physical work. It's the mental energy of all the decisions that makes it hard. So if you already know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my spot. I'm going to pick up every single item, just grab an item, look at it and make a decision. That's the first thing that's going to help you. You're going to do that every time. Then the second thing is when you pick up the item. So let's say it's a piece of paper, you're going to pick it up and you're going to make a decision about it, but you're not making a decision in the infinite possibilities. There's only actually five things that you can do with that item. So you're only choosing between five things. That is where you're going to find that it's so much easier. So let's talk about what those five things are. Option one is the item needs to be kept where it is. So I pick this paper up and I'm like, yep, it's right where it needs to be. I put it right back, done, that's fast. Option two is I wanna keep this paper. I don't don't wanna get rid of it, but it doesn't belong here wherever I'm decluttering. So I have a bin and I encourage you to make like a box or a laundry basket. And you can even put signs. Um, I'll put a link down below where you can download the signs um, if you wanna print out the ones that we've made. And you'll say, I'm keeping it, but I'm not keeping it here. And you're just gonna put it in the bin. You're not deciding what you're going to do with it. You're not deciding where it's going to go. You're just putting it in that bin. Then the third thing that could happen with it is it could be a return. So that's either you're returning it to someone. You're either returning it to the store because you it's still within the time limit doesn't fit or something you're going to return it it's a library book that you need to return or something that goes to to a friend you borrowed it so you have a a basket for or a box for your returns you need to return it simple next thing that you could do with it is i don't want it anymore i'm gonna donate it so in that case i would put it in the donate box and the fifth thing is it could be literal trash like Though that's actually the easiest category. So either it's just like a wrapper, it's literal trash, or this thing isn't even worth donating. Like it's broken, it doesn't really work. Nobody else is gonna want this, so I'm gonna trash it. So that's it. There's only five things that can happen. So when you're decluttering, do not get distracted. You're not at the point of decluttering and organizing each space, you do not have the responsibility at that time of thinking of what happens after you put it in the category that it goes in. So you're gonna have, so basically what you're gonna have is four boxes, bins, baskets that you can sort into because the fifth one, if you're keeping it in place, you don't need to put it anywhere. You literally keep it there. And then your four other options are keep it, but it goes somewhere else, donate it, trash it, or return it. That's it. So then once your decluttering session is over, that's when you decide to do it, what to do with those things. And that's a separate process and a separate decision. So you're not just 
bringing every decision into your decluttering process. So that's gonna make life a lot easier. Now, what you're gonna do with those boxes and bins, it's gonna depend on your specific situation. Now, if you're a cactus blossom or a sunflower, you're probably gonna kinda of do a marathon session and you're gonna keep going. And after you're done, you're probably gonna deal with those baskets right away. But if you are a lavender or a rose, what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna do like 15 or so minutes a day. And if possible, if you can leave those baskets out of the way, I would just leave those there for a few days until you process that entire area. And then your next session of 15 minutes or so, I would go deal with the baskets one by one is how I would do that. Now, if you're like, what are you talking about with a cactus blossom and the sunflowers and the roses? Um, you probably haven't taken our organizing personality quiz yet. So I will leave a link down below. It only takes a few minutes. It's super fun and you'll totally know what I'm talking about. I wanna also point out that with those boxes that you have for the four categories, you can take those around from place to place. So what I kind of like to do is I go through like one space and pick a, like a, um, a very defined space. It's not like this entire room. It's not even this entire cabinet. It's this shelf. So you're, you're really containing it. So you can really even get that done in a 15 minute session if that's what you're doing. And even if you're doing it more all at once, like you have four hours to work on this, you're still gonna do it one thing at a time. So we're gonna start with this one shelf and then we're gonna go to the next shelf. And what that's gonna stop you from doing is being able to cherry pick. Because when you cherry pick and you're just like, oh, I know what this is and I know what this is and I know what this is, then it looks like you made no progress. Like you didn't really get it done and then you kind of move on to something else and that's really inefficient. So you're gonna go uh, space by space, very small space, and then you can take those baskets with you to your next space. And then when it is full, I don't want you to keep decluttering. I want you to stop and deal with it because I don't want you to get like 20 boxes for returns. I, I don't know if you even have that many returns, but if you did, it would take you forever to return those. So once it gets full, you deal with it. Now for the donate boxes, you can go ahead and put those in your car with a very important caveat. You have a date on your calendar when you're either taking those to a donation center or you have scheduled them to come pick it up. So this is not, I'm gonna drive around with the donation boxes in my car for eight months. Uh, that, you know, I, I wouldn't know anything about that, would I? Um, yes, I would. <laughs> um, but don't do that. So you can do that with those. With the returns, those ones tend to take the longest amount of time because you actually have to like do something. But again, you're gonna go through them thing by thing. A lot of times these days I have to go online and like process return and then take it somewhere. Maybe you can put like a small item in your purse for the next time you see someone. Um, then for your trash, I mean, that's super easy. You're just gonna go take it to the trash can, so that's easy. And then for the things that you wanna keep and that go somewhere else, that's another one that's gonna take you a little while. You're gonna need to take that basket around and place each of the items where you want them to go. But that's really all there is to it. So I hope this helps you to declutter a lot faster and easier. And if you want more decluttering advice, we have an entire decluttering playlist that's gonna give you loads of inspiration. So I'm going to put a link to that down below and maybe you can even watch it while you're decluttering.